Okay, so I'm going to go through the steps of how to retrieve a backup tune file, how to email it, how to receive a tune, drop it to the tuning device, and what we're going to use for this interface is Diablo Sports uh, Intune, their new tool, the i2, standard in all of our Project Performance Turbo systems as of 11 or as of November of 2015. So the i2 is a handheld device and here it is here it's just an interface and it's a great tool because it's the only tool on the market that allows you to data log or record the vehicles uh, engine parameters send them in an email format send the vehicles computer file to a third party receive a file from someone else drop it to the tool and flash the vehicle. This can be done via email worldwide. So it is really state of the art and they've done a great job there at Diablo Sport. So I'm gonna go through on how to uh, flash the vehicle, what to expect from the tool, how to use it, everything you need to know. The very first step, the very first step, I can't stress it enough, when you get it out of the box, you wanna hook it to your PC and you wanna update the tool. So right now I just unplugged it, it's on the home screen which is the first disclaimer and you plug it into your USB, comes with all the cables and I'm going to put it up here on the monitor and show you exactly how to update the tool. Okay again we're at the home screen of the Intune so all we've done is plug it into USB after it boots up this is the screen you'll be at. Now you're going to work this device just like you would uh, any SD card, your phone, uh, a camera, anything you're going to plug to USB you're going to retrieve it the same exact way. So this is a Windows 8 PC here we're going to go start, computer, and then here it is right here, the i2. It's in the E drive. So we we'll double click on it, go to the updater, pick which version of a computer you're using. This is a Windows PC. And the Intune updater, exe, executable file. Double click it. Now it's going to go and it's going to query the information from Diablo Sports server. And then we're going to select for it to update the tool or check for updates. Okay, so now we're going to check for updates. Now you can see updating it to the tool. this is real time so that was happening relatively quickly I would say okay so it says updates have been installed please press continue to reboot the i2 this real time so you can see exactly how long this process is going to take. So we'll continue without scanning. scanning so all right let's go through it again so if the v if the tool is up to date what's going to happen if you plug it in and it's up to date what's it going to say so let's answer that question as well while we're here so we'll go start computer there it is same thing again we'll run the updater this is a windows the intune updater executable file now check for updates there are no updates available at this time so this tool is ready for use. That completes step one, which is always update the tool first. So we'll unplug it, we'll go to the vehicle. Okay, so we got our Intune plugged into our vehicle using a DLC uh, down by the bottom left of your foot here. Pretty standard in most vehicles, bottom left on the, on the Wrangler. Now, <clears throat> one thing I wanna go through, when you're doing the flash process, recovering backups, 
anything like that. You don't want to have the radio on, you don't want to have the blower motor on, no accessories, no headlights, turn everything off. You want to maintain constant battery voltage and if you have any concerns of are you going to have maximum battery voltage at 100% level, you need to put a battery charger on the vehicle. So right now we got it plugged in, booted up to the home screen. Okay, so we're going to accept the disclaimer of course, yes, keys on, so we're going to tune the vehicle, Make sure the keys in run position, do not start the engine. <coughs> Now while you're going through this process, don't get out of the car, trip on the cable, um, answer your phone, have to go somewhere, or pay attention to what's going on. This is a complex process and it can cause you a lot of frustration if you don't just pay attention and follow the steps right through. So the first thing we're going to do is try to recover this backup is what we're going to do. So let's go to Easy Tune and we could put any of these tunes in there, it doesn't matter. Here we'll pick this one and it says uh, what the tune is for use this tune sure and it's saying here do you want to change the tire size we can't say yes it'll select the size this time we're going to say no you want to change the gear ratio no the tools are capable of doing both of these things so it replaces many other tools you may have uh, remove the speed limiter no we just want to use this to retrieve the backup so i2 is now ready to read the backup yes Okay, let's see how long this takes. Got 8.15 right now. So from, from the time you updated the tool to plug it in, be ready to email this file. I think you can do this in under 10 minutes without a doubt. Okay, now here you want to pay attention to the key cycles. Don't get excited, turn it off and hit, hit when it says off, hit continue and then turn it off. You're going to cycle the key off and then hit continue. If you mix up any of these, It'll try to recover a backup, it'll, it'll, the tool will go into fail safe, it, and it'll cause you an enormous amount of lost time and, and great deal of frustration. So pay attention. So it says turn the ignition off, then press continue. Turn the ignition on, give it a second, and press continue. You want to install the tune? At this time we do not because we just wanted the backup file. We can unplug the tool, go back to the PC and I'll show you how to take the backup file from the Intune and put it in an email format. Okay, so we, all we did was plug the Intune into the PC with the provided cable. Let's retrieve this file. Very simple. I'm going to go to start. My computer, just like a jump drive. Here you go. I2 is the drive and this is a tune. So go into tunes, this is the VIN number of the vehicle and here's the backup. Now you can right click save. What I usually do is I like to just click it, drag it, drop it to the, click it to the desktop, there it is right there. So what we can do here is we can close this out, we can open up email client whatever you use, Yahoo, Gmail, Outlook, this computer has an Outlook account on it here so Real simple, new email. Okay, so we're going to create a new email here. We're going to send this to tuning at prodigyperformance.com. Subject, your last name works best. So we'll just put Johnson for this example. And brief description attached is my backup file. And we can go to attach file, real simple. This is on desktop. And if I can see here, 
We'll scroll down right here, backup file. There it is right there. Now, all we got to do is hit send. So this will be gone through immediately and within, I would say, 8 to 12 hours, you'll receive the tune back. Okay, so it's pretty much right away. We got the uh, tune file back here. And open it. Tune file's attached. Thank you for your business. And right click. You can do save as. Put it on the desktop here. And we can hit save. And there it is right here. So, let's do the same thing here. All we have to do is go to start, my computer. This was our tune right here, Prodigy. We drop it right onto the i2 drive. Custom tune Prodigy has been loaded. We hit continue. Simple as that. Now we're just gonna unplug the tool, go back to the vehicle, and take the tune file from the Intune and flash it to the vehicle's computer. Okay, so we're at the home screen, which is of course the disclaimer here. The total boot time from plugging into here is maybe 10 seconds. So we'll hit yes. This time we're actually gonna tune the vehicle. So let's go ahead, we'll tune the vehicle. Keys in the wrong position, okay. So we'll go to advanced tune because it's going to be actually a custom tune. And we're going to tune select, install custom tune. And the Prodigy was the name of the tune we had there. It's verifying the VIN number. And yes. Now, if you want to modify parameters, I mean you want to, at the same time, do you want to change the gear size, the gear ratio in the computer? Do you want to change the tire size, change the speed limiter, things like that, you can do modify parameters. Well, we're just gonna show you how to install the tune. So in this, in this uh, example, we're gonna apply the tune. I think recovering the backup was a total of two minutes of actual recovering time. Let's see how long this takes to do here. And I'm making it look very easy here. It really is that easy, but take your time, read read the screens, follow the prompts, follow the directions. Don't be in a hurry. Don't oversimplify what this process is. It really is complex. They've made it as easy as they can. Probably somewhere just over a minute. Now we're going to cycle the key off, as it says, then push continue. And we're going to cycle the key on and continue. There's a few key cycles here. And off. Tune's complete. Unplug the tool, ready to go. So as you can see, the process of reading the backup and writing the tune really is a quick process. You can confuse it if you don't follow the directions. So take your time, review this video, even once, twice, three times, whatever you need, and go back to it. If you have any comments, let us know. But we're Project Performance. You can find us on the web, projectperformance.com, or toll-free, 855-TURBO-JEEP.